Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the ultrasonic sensor for distance measurement using Raspberry Pi. First of all, let's see the demo. The program is already written and can be downloaded from the description tab of this video. First of all, I will log in into my Pi and then run the distance measurement Python program. As you can see clearly that the measured distance decreases as I bring the object near to the sensor. And the measured distance increases as I move the object far from the sensor. I will explain this program at the last of this video. Now let's start with the introduction of the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. This sensor uses the sound waves for measuring the distance of the object. This sensor has four pins. The first one is VCC which must be connected with the 5 volt power supply pin. Then the trigger input pin. This pin must be connected with the GPIO output pin of the Raspberry Pi. Then the third pin is echo pin. This pin must be connected with GPIO input pin of the Raspberry Pi. And the last pin is the supply ground pin. Now let's see how this sensor works. This sensor emits sound waves which can travel through air and if there is an object these sound waves are reflected back. So by this we can get the time of flight. We also know the sound wave speed and then by using the equation distance equals to speed into time we can calculate the object distance. Now let's discuss the steps which are needed to run this sensor using Raspberry Pi. The first step with Raspberry Pi provide 10 microsecond pulse to the trigger input of the sensor. After receiving the pulse the sensor will emit 840 kilohertz ultrasonic burst signals these ultrasonic signals will reflect back if there is an object in the path if the signal is reflected back the echo output pin of the module will remain high for time of flight duration that is time taken for sending and receiving the ultrasonic signals as you know raspberry pi is a 3.3 volt device and the ultrasonic sensor works on 5 volt. So echo output pin of the sensor must be scaled down to 3.3 volt and this can be done by using simple voltage divider circuit as shown here. Now it's time to understand the program. We used two variables to store the pin numbers of trigger and echo pin. As trigger pin is output for Raspberry Pi and echo pin is input for the Pi, so these pins are configured as output and input pins using these statements. Now we have to measure distance continuously, so we will use a while loop for that purpose. In while loop, the first step is to send the 10 microsecond pulse, which can be done using the following statement. After that we will wait for the echo pin to go high and if it goes high then we will timestamp the current time in a variable and now we will wait until echo pin goes low and then we will timestamp uh, this again. By using the both timestamp we can evaluate the time of flight duration and we know the speed of sound is. 34,300 centimeter per second. So by using the formula for distance, we can calculate the obstacle distance. 
we have divided the equation by 2 because the sound waves has traveled twice distance from source to object and then back to source and to get the actual distance we have to divide it by 2 So guys this is how we can use the Raspberry Pi to measure the distance using ultrasonic sensor If you like this video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel thank you so much